Good morning. Today is 130 of my Appalachian Trail journey. This is our stealth camp we stayed at last night. Um, got in a little bit later than we wanted. We didn't find the campground. It was a half a mile off the trail. So we didn't go to it. Um, July 28th, Tuesday, I believe. It is Tuesday. I think it's the 28th. We're uh, looking at doing about a either a 16 or 18 mile day. So, uh, when things start happening, I'll be glad to bring you back on and show you what's going on. So, y'all have a great day. I know we're going to. And uh, let's move on up the trail. All right, we've got a pretty interesting rock this morning. Thought I'd just get over here and show it to you. All right, let's move on. All right, we just came through a state park, came across, uh, I think, uh, Route 100. Um, come up on this little creek here. And the bridge, we're gonna go across. Looks like a pretty good little, maybe a little waterfall up here. Got a little lake or pond up here in front of us that we, I think, actually skirt around in a little bit. Rain's starting to fall. I don't think it's gonna fall too hard. Uh, maybe not. We chose to keep hiking instead of getting under a shelter back there. So maybe it won't rain too hard. Um, goes down to the lake. Somebody down there fishing, but we're going to go on up over the trail here. On the bridge. So it turns into a little, a little gorge here. Works its way down a nice little gorge on down to there. Looks pretty good. But it's starting to rain, so we're gonna move on and um, try to get out of this rain. All right, this is Kent Pond. You see, upper end that way, it goes back uh, we're about halfway in the middle. See the mountain ranges behind it. We are getting some rain, a little bit of thunder, but. We're on the upper edge from what the radar shows, so maybe we're not gonna get too much. We chose to keep on hiking instead of, get off me, mosquito. They got mosquitoes up here too. But um, keep on hiking instead of sheltering because it didn't look like it's gonna get that bad. So that is Kent Pond and we're moving on. All right, we got a bird up here trying to crank up. He's getting close. He ain't quite got all of it in there yet, but he's definitely trying. So, well, getting some rain starting to drip through the trees pretty good now so most everything is quieted down uh, we're in some big timber but it's not very open underneath been seeing quite a few good rocks and stuff but uh, like I said with the rain and stuff I'm just trying to keep my camera dry also so uh, we're gonna move on all right we got a good rock sitting there as we go down the trail headed to a place called Thundering Falls not there yet we still got about 0.2 maybe 0.3 before we get to it but I just thought I'd give you a little bit of trail time here with these rocks and stuff and the rain and all that good kind of stuff So, uh, yeah, I know I moved the camera real fast and I turned back around. Sorry about that. But let's move on down this trail till we get to Thundering Falls and uh, we'll pull it up and see what we got. That says to Thundering Falls. So, 
let's uh, go up through here and see if we can find Thundering Falls. All right, this is Thundering Falls on Vermont. They say they've been in a drought, so it's not much water, but look how it's eating out that crevice over there. Thundering Falls, Vermont, mile marker, I'm not sure. Um, you see a big, large pipe on the other side of them going down. It may be some kind of active meal uh, using the water also. But that is Thundering Falls, and we are 1709.4 mile mark. 1709.4. All right, let's move on. There, there's the through the woods you can see the building that could possibly be a mill here's some old shed or something but uh looks like a i have a little boardwalk so i thought i'd give you a little a look at the boardwalk as we go across give you a little bit of trail time so what we got up here on the boardwalk purple flowers ah uh, i would bet money We'll be up on top of that thing in about 30 minutes. As you can see the clouds are uh, up there, a little hazy. But the rain for the moment has stopped. Yeah, pretty nice boardwalk right here. She continues on. But uh, all right, we're going to bring you back if anything happens all right uh just walked on this power line but this is killington that is the mountain we walked over yesterday you can see the ski slopes or the ski runs i should say on it we were really on the back side of it and up there where the clouds are we came across the top there so that's where we were at yesterday about lunchtime we um, followed it around and, you know, to the, to the right, in that direction. But that is Mount Killington over there, and that's where we were at yesterday. And you can see the views down the power line here. I'm going to go to the other side and see if there's any views, and if there are, I'll let you see them. All right, this is the other side. So there's really no, no views, but there is a big peak in the background over there. So, that's what we got. So, we're going to move on up the trail. Pretty good sized timber. Uh, I'd call it a hard wooden mix, but I don't know if they're actually hard woods. Pretty open. Uh, getting some birds chirping down here. We're getting close to the shelter. We're going to stop and take lunch. It's a few minutes to 12. But I uh, thought I'd just show you a little bit of the timber and a little bit of the trail here. So, we're going to move on. All right, we got a little rock wall here. Leads us down to the water. We followed it a little earlier and I didn't video it. But you can see it just sort of makes a little outcropping as it goes on down. Down here without slipping, it just got through raining, so a yeah, pretty neat looking little area up through there. All right, we're gonna move on north and uh, talk to y'all a little bit later. Okay, uh, we got the trail that I guess you could go down that way, but there's an extension ladder here, and it it looks osha approved so we're going to try this extension ladder here i'm not going to hold the camera while i do it 
but uh let's move on down all right we got a little bit of a view there a couple of mountains so uh moving on all right it's a pretty neat feature right here along this little ridge i reckon you can say it's a pretty defined line you see the more of the hardwood timber right there but right here it gets into the spruce inside of that hill of spruce then you come back down to the flat again or there's a small ridge and it turns back into the the harder wood timber so i don't know if this was like planted like this or if this is a natural uh progression line for this particular type timber but you can also see all the rocks that are on the side of the hill here also so i thought i'd point that out because it was a obvious change line and then as we come around this curve, it sort of turns and goes up with us. So let's get on up north. Anything else comes up, I'll let you see. All right, there's a rock overhang we can going by I just put it on camera as we work our way down the bottom of this mountain all right we're at mile 1721 on top of the lookout it's been on video some uh, top of this house top of this cabin i should say not a house but uh this is overlooking the vermont mountain ranges which is uh, just sort of northeast of killington should be looking in the northern direction there there's the sun right there that mountain peak back there, I believe, is um, uh, Mount Killington, I think is the name of the ski resort or whatever big ski resort we went over yesterday. I believe it's right there, but I'm not sure about that. So, um, you got all the mountain ranges behind us. put this thing up uh, we did 16 miles today get down and get something to, to eat for dinner and call it a day appreciate y'all watching all right that's the way our day is ending with that sunset and look at all the color spread around it really brings out the mountains and, and the way the mountains look. Just to find such mountains out in that area look really strong. That sun, I mean, it just dropped when it started going underneath that hill. That mountain, it just like disappeared. So, uh, I'm gonna do like the sun. I'm gonna turn in and go to sleep myself. So we'll see y'all in the morning with the sunrise. All right, here is a, the moon after the sun has set today. Great, great sunsets. That's looking to the east. Let's turn around here and see what the sun looks like now. There's gone behind the clouds, just a big old red sky.